Hey guys, so welcome to my video. Um, I've done previous videos about um, Plex and Kodi and I've always kind of discouraged the use of Wi-Fi, um, primarily because the, the performance doesn't quite punch it. Um, uh, for it to get it to work, you need to transcode it down um, to about sort of three or four meg and then it kind of works. If you do it over a copper cable, um, you can do direct play and it works perfectly fine. People are saying, oh, maybe it's your server that's, you know, the machine that the Plex Media Server runs on. Well, that's a Core i5. Um, uh, it's actually a Haswell one as well. So it's not that. And the fact that it transcodes fine um, on the copper proves that there is no problems. And also my own home theater, which is a proper PC, also doesn't have any issues. So it's purely down to the Wi-Fi's throughput. Now, before I was using uh, one of these, one of these little um, sort of uh, Wi-Fi dongles here, about four quid um, off of Amazon. Um, great if you just want to do a little bit of work, um, but I think for trying to pull 1080p material, it's just not good enough. Um, so today we're going to be testing one of these. So. <coughs> Let's see what the difference is. Um, and we're going to do some tests with uh, Plex. So let's see how we got them. So what we're going to do first of all um, is we're going to test the movie out on a copper cable. Um, and we're going to use that as a baseline. So just to make sure that the, there's no issues with the server or you know the network speed the Pi can handle the movie etc etc so we'll just test that first um, what we'll do is we will go into preferences and just confirm that we are on direct play which we are uh, for both of those and just to prove that we are on 1080 there you go so that's 1920, uh, 1920 by 1080 so that's all fine. So let's go into setting our baseline movie. Now obviously I can't play it for long um, for copyright reasons. Um, so we'll just kind of use the universal intro as, just as a test really. So. That seems perfectly smooth. Yep, that seems to be working fine. So that's not stopped whatsoever. Good. So what we'll do now is we will switch over to a little Wi-Fi dongle to see how the performance is. So what we'll do is we'll pop that in there, disconnect the cable, and just reset the uh, reset the Pi. So let's boot it back up again um, on the little Wi-Fi dongle. And what we'll do is we'll connect to my um, SSID. There we go. So we've got, we've found one. There we go. So we've picked up an IP address and we've signed in. Please wait. So here we go, let's see what happens. Oh, what do you know? It stopped. Okay. 
that would be a very 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 long movie okay what we'll do now so we've proved that the little dongles don't work so what we'll do now is we'll move over to the bigger dongle okay fine that so will come out So we'll just reboot as Pi again. So a little, um, the little blue light's flashing away there, so we've got connectivity, which is good. Okay, so same again. Uh, go into system settings. Connections and let's see how many we pick up now. Today would be nice. Ooh, loads. So we should be picking up an IP address now. There we go, we've got an IP address, so that's working. And we will test it again. So we've signed in and start from the beginning now remember this is 1080p seems to be handling it Now it's just crashed. That's nice. Okay, it's crashed. Let's try it again. <clears throat> it is promising though because we got further. And also we detected a lot more networks. So that's definitely uh, a positive. Come on. Pick up the libraries. There you go. So maybe try it again. Hopefully this time it'll go through. I'm a bit more positive now. It's just it's not happy. We're obviously getting further because we've got a better aerial, we're getting more signals, so therefore we're getting more throughput. But it's still not enough. In fact, in fact the whole thing is just locked up again. So there you have it. Copper always wins. You can't use Wi-Fi to stream 1080p material or at least with the current end speed anyway. Um, so I hope you found the video informative. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up or drop me a comment. I try to help where I can. Um, and if you want to see more content, please do subscribe. Um, I do upload quite regularly now. Um, and uh, this is Rich Smith signing out. So take care of yourselves. Until next time.